Do you guys understand how many loose cannon evil people there actually are in this world that put up a front that they're good and they want to deem you as an evil person because in today's society it, it, it became so watered down and so many people have become brainwashed into thinking that the truth is evil and to basically hide from reality and your your shitty behavior is okay when in actuality who's really the evil people here the chosen ones who live by truth who stand by God or all these other evil puppets out there who clench their ass cheeks when the truth is being told who's the evil one and this is the thing all these evil people out there that pretend to be such good people we are outnumbered by them by a landslide so they will always point the finger at people like us at the end of the day and you know there's even people out there that's kind of in between they're kind of they understand truths they can understand the chosen ones to a certain degree but it's like they get with some of those people as well so not, not every person in the world is evil people do get things but the child's ones are just a different breed who live by the truth 24 7 some people like I said are kind of in between and then some people are just complete snakes where you tell them any truth and they clench their cheeks you can't even tell people the truth nowadays you can't even tell like there's no disrespect but there's little there's literally obese women out there in the world today who call themselves tens I've mentioned this to a few people in the comments section it's just complete delusion. And I'm not the type of guy who's just gonna come up to somebody out of nowhere and be like, hey, you're fat, hey, you're this, hey, you're that. I stick to myself, I know what I see, I know what is the truth. I'm not gonna go around just breaking news to everybody, pick out every flaw about everybody that's wrong or not right. I don't do that, but if you're that arrogant to come out and be like, I'm a 10, when you're fat as hell, you're ugly, you might be put in your place. You might be. And I don't even know if I'm the type of guy that would do that. If you came up to me and said it, yeah, I would. If you said it and I overheard you say it and it was in person, let's make up this made up scenario. Let's say we're at a pool party. This girl's in the bikini. I'm there. I'm a 10 at this party. She says out of nowhere, I'm a 10. <clears throat> and I overhear. I'm probably just going to laugh. I'm not going to go up to her and just point her and tell her she's a probably a 2. But if she came up to me, looked me right in the eyes and said I'm a 10, I'm going to tell you straight up what you were. You're not no 10. But this is how the world is today, guys. A huge percentage of this world is living in complete denial. Complete denial. Like, why would you even consider yourself a 10? The most smoking hot beautiful woman in this world, it's hard to call them a 10. Because there's probably a flaw somewhere. Like, why are these people such liars? body positivity that's exactly why 
you are who you are and you're the size that you are. Because they tell themselves these things. Couldn't be, couldn't be a worse thing that's going on in the world today. Body positivity. Let yourself be this way. It's not going to do you no good. There's no excuse to be that size. There's just not. You can't expect to eat McDonald's every day and lose weight and become more fitter. Like, it's just the stupidest thing that's going on in the world today, guys. It's ridiculous. Complete denial. And this is just an example of all the things. People think it's acceptable to be some snotty-nosed brat. Some of these girls, they wanna, they wanna flex on how they are their husband's or boyfriend's biggest headache. They think that's a flex. Look at me, I'm a problem. He, he, ha, ha, I am a problem to him. Look at me, look at you, you dumb bitch. Look at you. You think that's a flex? As if there's not enough problems in the world today and you have to add on to his problems? You don't think he works hard? And you think it's a flex to add misery to this man's life? You deserve to slip on ice and break your leg. That's what you deserve. Wake the fuck up. It's shit like this man that you see that's just... They're so... Their attitudes... Suck. Like this is what their lives consist of. They're so rude and arrogant and just pissed at themselves at who they are, at how they feel. Do you think this is a positive person? No. No. This is a very arrogant, selfish, disturbed, insecure, low self-esteemed individual we are speaking on right here who has serious issues, who needs to get humbled, you know? Slipping on ice, breaking your line, that might humble you a little bit. It might. But these people are the ones that need a reality check the most out of anybody else. You do not deserve anything. The sad thing is she probably got some good guy that's probably taking care of her. Girls like this, they might look a little bit good. Good enough to get some guy who's gonna pay for her stuff, who's gonna help her and she flexes to bring problems and a headache and more mess to this guy's life so she can feel irrelevant. You clown. You're not contributing to this man's life in a positive way. You're taking his money. You're lowering his bank balance. You're causing more stress and problems to him. You're projecting how you really feel on the inside onto this man's life. You are complete trash. This is just another example. We're not bashing genders here. This is just an example of things you literally see today on the internet. And it's a disgrace to mankind. Should be slapped upside your head. And given the biggest noogie of all time. It just amazes me, bro, and some people's mentalities in today's day and age. And it's only getting worse. Although there, there's many, many, many good people who still live in this world, and that is the ones that we will have in our lives, if anything. But it's just to see, just to see what is out there. It's disturbing. It's really sick. 
And I believe it really truly came down to these people being silver spoon so hard that they have that type of mentality. I remember being in like junior high and high school and seeing the new kids get on the bus, like these younger little kids. Some of the girls were so snotty. These young little girls, just so snobby and snotty and their attitudes just sucked. It's the younger generation, bro, I'm telling you. It's what it is. Two silver spoon. Buying nice things for your kids here and there. I don't see a problem with it, but it's all about how, I, I really don't believe what you give to your kids has any correlation to how snobby they will be. It's literally how you raise them and how else you treat them outside of giving them certain things. I think you could spoil a kid with giving them certain things and certain materials and stuff like this, but you could still spend a lot of time with them and be like strict with them and teach them what hard work and discipline really is and parent them the right way and they could turn out just fine. I really don't think buying people things has any correlation to how they turn out. It's all about how you raise a kid and how else you spend time with them and how you structure their own life and how you bring them up. Do you get them to do house chores? Things like this. Like, back at my home. First of all, outside of my own home, I have an uncle who is now a millionaire who was in his late 60s, early 70s, right around there, I forget what age he is at this point, but literally lives right across the road from my parents' place. Like, my mom and her sister live right across the road from each other in the same neighborhood they grew up in. So that's where they still live. And my uncle right across the road, fisherman, lobster fisherman, fish oysters, claw hogs, mackerel, hunts multiple animals and he's a carpenter and he can weld and he can he can build things like out of nothing he built motorized vehicles from scratch like he is a genius and i had the privilege to grow up and have him in my life also being at home doing house chores i did the wood for my family i cut the grass i do laundry like, I, I did everything. I did what women do. I did what men do. Went across the road. I hunted with my uncle. Fished. Built things. I did everything you can pretty much think of. And I also had a first cousin across the road. He taught me a lot about sports. Which is why I got so good and I was ahead of all the kids, like, in my class and in my school. Because me and him would practice for hours in the yard at certain sports that I would play in school. Like, softball. I'd pitch to him all the time. He would pitch to me and I'd hit, I'd hit balls. It's things like this. So I think how you're brought up, it matters a lot. And seriously, there's some people that was just silver spoon and just left alone, which is the worst combination you could possibly think of, which is why people grow up like this and act and behave like this. And they really need to get put in their place. They really do. But man, I'm telling you, growing up, being spoiled, and left alone, like you're you're never in the wrong. Your parents don't ever correct you. That is that's that is terrible. That is terrible. That is exactly what's that that is exactly what creates these narcissistic people. This is the worst of the worst. We're speaking of right here. They're not disciplined. They're never corrected. They never go through adversity. No one was ever tough on them. They just like pure, purely existed, given everything. Didn't work a job when they were younger, didn't do anything. I worked my first actual job when I was 12, which is younger than a lot of people. And before that, I was working at home, working with my uncle. I would watch him build so many things. I would help him build so many things. But when I was really young, I mainly watched. Because I was like, I'm talking really young. Like six, seven, eight years old, I'd just go over. And I'd watch him do certain things and I'd just be hanging out with him. Country music in the barn, just blasting him, building things. Sparks flying, <clears throat> wood being built. Everything's happening. It was great. 
and the world would be a much better place if everybody was brought up similar to how I was and others as well so but anyways guys that's pretty much it for this video and I just wanted to break this down because there are a lot of snotty nosed people and adults in this world today because they were silver spoon growing up and I just can't stand to see <clears throat> how some of these women treat their guy and think it's some sort of flex to bring him problems. It's just disgusting behavior. But anyways, that's it for tonight, guys. I'll be back.